Uh, what is this? I don't want to be spawning here, bro. Ah, welcome back. And as you can tell, there's actually a base down. I'm not playing Wipe Day because I've just got back from a two week vacation from Morocco and I'm going to be pretty washed. It's currently 15th of August and I'm trying to get this video out by three days. So but yeah, I've got a base by Lefty P that I really want to try out. And of course, if you want to check it out, I'll link it below. But it looks amazing. And it's not too much I want to be saying. Obviously, you got to pick a, pick a spot to live. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, I'm hoping this is going to be a fun wipe. I think it will be. Welcome or welcome back to yet another Solo Russ video. In today's story, we build one of the craziest solo bases with everything you could ever think of. Including two building techniques to complete, this base was one of the coolest and most secure structures I've lived out of. We are closing in on 50k, and if at any point you guys enjoyed this video, I would greatly appreciate a sub. Thank you guys, and I really hope you enjoy. The base doesn't actually have a starter, so I'm going to need to uh, maybe pop down a little one by one or something just to start. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> please, please, man. I saw you running the zipline. Give me your loot, bro. Okay, okay. I'm sorry, man. I Thank you. Thank you. But now I am on HP. It kind of sucks. Mushrooms. Oh my god, there's so many mushrooms. This is awesome. Should be enough resources. Let's get myself a little wooden door. And now we just decide where we want to live. I'm not actually too sure. I did initially think satellite like this would be nice, but there's not a whole lot around it. Maybe if I move like up this way? I don't really know. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna put my little starter base in here. This is nice. My main base had no starter as it would require one of the two building techniques, meaning I would need a decent amount of resources, something that I didn't really want to farm this early on into the wipe. So with this starter base, I could safely store loot until the time was right to move. Slap down another door, just for safety. And to be honest, because this is my starter base, I may choose to move, I'm not sure. Like when it comes to making the main base. We'll just have to see how this area is, I guess. But yeah, for now, this is a nice little spot. I've got satellite dish, so hopefully I can farm it quite peacefully. And, uh, yeah. Next step in the solo progression is to find an animal. Let's go. Let's get a furnace, baby. Let's go. With the furnace taken care of and metal cooking, I headed to Satellite Dish to start working towards a tier 1 workbench. Forgot to mention, I don't actually have any blueprints. I think I have revolver, both types of ammo and med stick, and that is it. So there's going to be a grind in the scrap department too. Oh, okay. I have a habit of overstaying my welcome, so I'm just going to recycle and dip. I have a lot. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Go. Oh. Boom. Give me that, that, and that. And let's make that tier one. Much better. Can I even fit this in here? I can. This is the layout for the for the time being. Should do the trick. Oh, he's up on his roof. Because I have access to satellite dish, like really close, and a blue card, I am gonna quickly run all the way over to cabins. I say all the way, it's not very far, but that's where I'm going to go. Try and get a green key card. Then I can run sats and, you know, airfield. Train yard, potentially. I'm 
Maybe he's telling the truth, but maybe he has the green card. Ah, no, he could have it. Oh, it's the boys in the camper. Yo. No green card, which was annoying, but it was quite a close run, so I would definitely be back. I did however get myself another animal, giving me more leather to craft some clothing, so I guess the trip wasn't 100% pointless. <laughs> My neighbours enjoy roof camping I guess. Knowing that my neighbour was on his roof of a sniper would influence my final decision on where to build my main base and it wouldn't be long until I found out how many players this group really is and whether or not I could thrive with me living next to them. I think I'm actually in a good position to start the main base and like I said I'm not living here if there's going to be a roof camper just over here. Maybe I move east or south a little bit. But yeah the base I'm building is actually very complicated. It has two different building techniques and one of them I have never done. <laughs> so it might take some trial and error. But the end product of this base is awesome. Come oh, on, bless me. Give me a jackhammer. Oh, I'll take it. I'll take it. Just saw someone. Oh my god, I still got it. I'm a beast. No. No. I think I got everything or most things. Let's go. Two week break and I still got it. <laughs> After my first mini roam, I was able to get my hands on a tier 2 weapon which was huge and a sign of good things to come. All I had to do now was find the right build spot for my main base. Okay, now is definitely a good time to start the main base. Let's go though dude, that's huge. We've got a gun. Nice. Okay, I just need to chill because I saw a hazmat. <laughs> I don't want to die. Yep, there it is. Okay, I think I'm good. Okay, it's time to move. Let's do this. Um. I'm sorry, there's just no way. Oh my god, what? I need to go. I don't even care. Um. Uh, yeah, there's two more. Bro, what? I'm going to get raided. There's no way. That's so silly. I feel like I kind of had to go with the Tommy because I just thought they were going to raid me. So I didn't want to lose the Tommy, but I lost it anyway. I still got a P2. Uh, yeah. Oh my gosh. This was yet again another sign that I was in for a good time on this server when I finally got established. I may have lost my materials, but after a quick farm run, I was back in the position I left off. Well, without the Thompson. I'm actually very tempted to build here, I'm not gonna lie. I actually might. I think I'm gonna build here. This should be good, I think. So, the first technique is a very, very common technique. Classic. Let me see. No, I don't recognise. Give me some cloth though. Okay, let's place a temporary, temporary woo. That should be fine. Yep, I can still place. Nice. And now I want to do exactly the same. Um. 
And there we go. That should be good. If I just make this a little way up here. To test it out, all I have to do is place that. And then when I destroy this. Yeah. Nice. So there's the bunker part. Complete, which is perfect. It's awesome. Just like that, we are secured. I mean, I may as well keep this base, right? There's no reason for me not to. Oh, that was hectic. I was for sure thinking they were going to raid me, man. I'm grateful they didn't. Or maybe they were just cooking up, I don't really know. Dying with the Thompson was actually a blessing in disguise. I feel like if I had kept it in my base, a raid was probably inevitable. Losing everything I had, including my P2, which would put me back to square one. So I was grateful for this death. And with the main base now secured, things could only go up from here. I think I deserve a crossbow. <laughs> So I'm going to craft one. I'm going to head back to cabs. Abandoned cabins. See if I get myself a green card. <laughs> okay, just kidding. I'm not going to be making that. Yeah. <laughs> I headshot him to be fair. No, he didn't. I appreciate that. That's awesome. What the hell? What the hell? Oh my god! <laughs> He's going. I don't like this. What is going on? Oh my gosh. Please. Yes! Oh my... Oh. Uh. No, no. Oh my god. Oh my. Oh my. What the... <laughs> my death toll was definitely much higher than my kill toll. However, it gave me a lot of hope for the future. If I was easily making plays now, with a gun in my hands, it would be even easier. I'm going to have a great time in this area. I just know it. I need to just focus, get myself a tier 2. And then we're actually going to be chilling. This area is awesome. Man, I actually love this brick skin. Like, It does look really nice. I think this is probably the best building skin they've added so far. And if you don't have any and you wanted to get one, I would recommend this one. It looks really nice from outside and inside. Him. Oh, poor guy, I think he was just starting out. <laughs> and he had the green card let's go that's awesome nice and we have made it it's the biggest run so far this is huge i got the green card yes okay so this is actually gonna be quite difficult i'm actually kind of like nervous to do this i might mess it up i really hope i don't <laughs> let's just do it so we do this like so and then we delete this we follow this line all the way to the middle 
like that. I think it's the terrain. I don't know. Hold up. Let me try this again. It's not going to work here either. Oh my god, I need to move. Ah! I didn't really think this through. I couldn't do the freehand build technique because of the terrain around my base. So I had to move. Okay, we have successfully moved. And I think the terrain will not be a problem. It looks okay. That was effort. <laughs> that was effort. The only thing I changed was I added a half wall here to add some more loot or whatever. But other than that, everything's basically the same. Literally just the other side of satellite dish as well. So again, nothing's really changed. For you, that was what? Probably about two seconds for me. That was a good half an hour, but it was worth it. And with the surrounding terrain being much better in my new spot, I got to work doing the freehand technique. Okay. Oops. And then I believe we just do this. I think this is okay. And the way to find out if this is okay is if I could place these, which I can. Because that obviously will connect it to the base. Okay. Now i got to repeat this three times. There we go. Nice. Okay, perfect. Now before I do anything else, I have to honeycomb. Because otherwise, I can't place certain, certain things. So yeah. When morning comes, I'm definitely going to be farming a little bit of stone. I'm also going to make myself a revolver, I think. Why do my furnaces sound like they're about to take off? What the hell? That's a horrible noise. Okay, so here you have to be really careful with the honeycomb because you can't make this go above 20% otherwise the bunker will not work. So you want to connect it like that? Nope. There we go, like that, 20%. These ones are okay because obviously it's not connected to the bunker, so you just place them anyway. Oh, hello. <laughs> Twenty percent. That one's okay. Hopefully, that's okay. Yep. Nice. Okay. Now I'm going to connect the external bits to the main base. It's really quite simple. Like so. And then you just place a wall frame. Somehow I've actually messed up. Oh my god, I am so bad at this game. Ow. Okay, well, these ones are connected. The other ones aren't because I am bricked at building. So while we wait for that to decay, let's get a tier 2. I had messed up on one side of the freehand build, which is why it's a difficult technique. One minuscule mistake and you would have to do it all over again. In my case, it had been over 10 minutes, so I couldn't demolish and I had to wait for it to decay. So in the meantime, I worked on getting myself a tier 2 workbench so I could finally research and craft the semi-automatic pistol. This is awkward because now I'm going to have to demolish all of this. All of my hard work. Because if I don't, I won't be able to replace the foundations. <laughs> Why? Ooh, okay. I mean, I guess I'll hit the road. <laughs> I just got a pretty good amount of components. I need 150 scrap for a tier 2. 625 if I want to learn the P2 as well, which I obviously do. Can I make this jump? There we go. I think I'm going to head to airfield. 
See what that's saying over this way. Hopefully it'll be okay. And then another 500 scrap for garage door. Having no, well, having barely any blueprints is actually crazy. Like, it's so difficult. Jeez. Oh my gosh. What? Okay, I'm already going back to base. I'm keeping this in the hot bar, the supply signal, in case I get into a fight. That way, if I do die, I can chuck it and potentially come back and fight for the airdrop. Oh my gosh, yes. Let's go. That is a massive run. So many components. I definitely have enough if I go to recycle. But the problem is, where do I recycle? I guess I could do satellite dish at night. I think that makes the most sense. In fact, I'm just going to go now. I'm going to try and get the blue card as well while I'm there. Wish me luck. Uh oh. Okay. <laughs> I feel like I'm missing a component. Yeah, I definitely am. The propane tanks. It would have rolled to Narnia, bro. Yeah, well, going to recycles off the cards. At least I got the green card back, though. That's all that I really cared about. No idea where them propane tanks went. Luckily, they don't really give you anything, so I don't really care too much. It was clear to me that the only time I could go and recycle safely was at night time. So as soon as the sun started to set, that's exactly what I did. Dude, he can one chunk me with that with that melee, I swear. Oh my gosh. Why bro? Why? Oh wait. They had a fuse in there. Oh what? Been done, I guess. Unless for some reason he's dropped it somewhere. No. Uh -uh. Yeah, now they just put a fuse in and... That's unlucky. Oh well. I hear someone. I hear someone. Oh my god. I think he has a gun. It looks like it. he does. I'm just gonna leave. Let's go. Let's go. So we have enough for a tier 2 i will make instantly and we also have enough to research the p2 so we can roam p2 perfect actually perfect this was exactly the sort of run i was looking for and with the p2 finally in my hands i was sure that i could progress even faster eventually making my way up to the tier 3 weapons sick sick Oh my gosh, not expecting that at all. That was scary. Yep, I think he does live there potentially. Uh oh. Here we go, we got the mandatory bear rug. We'll finally get 100% comfort. <laughs> Yippee. <laughs> that 
<laughs> this base looks so goofy right now. So I'm just waiting for these to decay. Just don't make the same mistake I did. Actually test it out before before upgrading it. Oh my. Right, I'm going to head into the airfield. I'm going to make a little bit of meds. And we're going to head into airfield. Get some scrap. Hopefully kill some players. And just be an overall beast. That's the plan. Oh, there's a guy right there. Here's a bow, I think. What does he have? Is that bow? What is that? Yeah, that's a bow. Oh, he's just coming here to farm. Now I've got to be careful. Because people heard the gunshots and they might come over. That's so many. Why is there so many people? What? Oh my gosh, that was insane. There was like three or four crossbow kids. Hopefully they've uh, made their way away now. I think I'm good. That was strange. Okay. Uh, I think I will just leave, honestly. It's only 50 scrap, but I have an invent of stuff, like... Probably go back. 1.5k sulfur too. Oh my gosh, what happened here? You're trolling. You're trolling. You're trolling. You're trolling. You're trolling. I think I just run. To be honest, like, in all honesty, I think I run. I don't have anything crazy on me, but yeah, now they're getting roof camped. Yeah, there's, there's four of them. There's four of them. And they're getting roof camped now. Yeah, see you later. I'm out of here, bro. <laughs> Usually I'm quite greedy, so I'm actually quite proud of myself that I, I left. Pre two week break, Cali would definitely have stayed. But this two week break has changed my mindset. I am now the solo king. Actually, nah, nah touch wood. I don't want to jinx it. Look at my components. Whoa, that is pretty juicy. Wow. Wow, that is nuts. Oh, there's a nomad right here. What is going on? I thought he was a nomad. This area is actually hectic, man. It is so hectic. I stayed inside my base during the night cycle, and as soon as the sun started to rise, I headed out with the intention to continue farming scrap, as the garage door was definitely a blueprint I would need. But things took an unexpected turn. Oh no. They both have flame arrows. <laughs> I don't like fighting flame arrows, man. That's scary. They're actually chasing me too. What the? If I can get the satellite dish, and if they're still chasing me, then I can win. Here they come. Oh my god. Why are you chasing me with all of this? Oh my gosh. That's not even funny. What are they doing? What are they doing? What are they doing? Okay, well now I can get garage door, so that's awesome. Whoa. 
I'm so confused. What are they playing at? If it was by this guy, then he should have an inventory of loot, right? Uh, kinda. Oh my gosh, scared me. Luckily, your boy got home with all the scrap. Away! Garage door time, for sure. Let's go, man. That was absolutely huge. Oh, I forgot I had a saw. I can almost research it as well. I completely forgot. Nice. That'll do. Okay, so we're halfway there and it has probably been about two hours, two and a bit hours, maybe three. It shouldn't be too much longer. Okay, that's definitely sorted me out for the wipe on animal fat and leather if I can get home. Another one? Are you serious? Nah, I see a guy to my right. I'm not risking it. Looks like he has a pistol. Maybe a revolver. Let me see. It was a nail gun. Close enough. Oh my gosh. three guys like I can't, I can't do anything oh my gosh it's so annoying I feel like every death i've had on this server has been like a good death i haven't really died like by playing bad i don't think i think i'm getting kind of unlucky i don't really know man definitely annoying that they just happen to be there you know yeah there they go and it's definitely he's got comp why is he taking compound bows and stuff dude why <laughs> oh they're a four man never mind i had no i had no chance I had no chance. This is the life of the solo, just taking all the scraps. <laughs> um, it's annoying. With the losses I had taken, it was clear to me that in order to compete with some of the larger groups, I would need a better weapon and luckily for me, I had just that. So I crafted myself a saw and hoped for the best. But before roaming with my saw, the foundations from earlier had finally decayed, so I got to work correcting my mistakes. That should be perfect. That's gotta be perfect, dude. That has to be perfect, surely. What? That isn't perfect. You're trolling. You're trolling. This is one of the hardest building techniques I've ever done. <laughs> ever. It's just hard. Like that, 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 that should be perfect. That should be perfect. Yeah, that is perfect. Okay. Well, it looks perfect. And to test it. Please let me place this. Yes. Big. Big, big. I don't mind deleting that, that's fine. Get out of here, man. Wait, am I doing it the wrong way? Hold up. Do I have to go in? Wait, am I tripping this whole time? Yeah, I was. GG. GG. <laughs> okay, we got it. Yes. Nice. 
20%. This is like the one key thing, dude. You have to pay real attention to when you're doing this. Especially if you want to do it correctly. Twenty percent. Yes, perfect. Back in business, baby. Back in serious business. Okay. Get a bit more stone and connect the externals to to the main base. Perfect. Nice. I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy now. This is awesome. Okay, it's night time. And I'm going to try and get a blue card from Sewer. Not Sewer, sorry. Satellite. I forgot to mention as well, but I've actually got two of my fingers taped up. Because I injured them. And my aim is still actually okay. I, I thought I was going to be a big flop. But to be honest, I've actually surprised myself. Two week break. Can't even use two of my fingers. <laughs> like, <laughs> kind of insane. And I'm solo. And I'm solo. Yeah, that's a big handicap. I'm proud of myself. Yes. Yes. Oh my god, my heart just dropped. Why? Why? Am I getting camped? What was that? Oh, that was a ni- Wait, I'm not tripping. No, I'm not tripping. What is that about? Yeah, what? Blue buffs. Oh my god, my heart just sank. It's blue. <laughs> GG blue, you just made me poo myself. <laughs> All that matters is we got the blue card. Well, I didn't find that much metal, but what I did find was a lot of stone. Which is a good thing, because I still need to finish my base. There we go. Okay. get down this oh did i make two doors by accident oh my i'm so silly <laughs> sorry i'll never do that again what's wrong with me okay so right now we're looking good baby in the perfect solo base the only base you will ever need in rust uh, yeah, let's add our roof. What do we want to do? Ladder hatches here and here. And then roof everything else off, I guess. wonder if I could place a garret. Oh, I can. Oh, perfect. That's perfect. And now let's uh, let's get to work with this. I think I'll do it in this orientation. I should have enough. I think I do. Yeah, just enough. There we go. The battery can go in here, our medium battery that we got uh, not too long ago. Obviously, I need to finish the roof, but to be honest, for now, I can wait. It's not really very urgent. This is actually like the most perfect solo base you can have. It's got peaks, shooting floor, bunker, 
very cheap to make. Like, what more can you ask for? I need 125 scrap for a ladder. I believe I have... No, I don't. So I need 250 scrap. Then I can do the tops. I could roam and just look for a bit of PvP for a minute. Or I could do airfield. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna roam. I haven't really roamed at all so far this wipe. What? Free revolver. Yay! <laughs> Oh my days. Okay. <laughs> this is an epic room. Oh my god. Jeez, man. Maybe the two fingers need to be unbuckled. Oh my gosh. That was embarrassing. Wow. Let's actually learn and research this uh, flashlight. Then I'll worry about my adventure. My airfield adventure. I still needed scrap to learn ladder and ladder hatch, so I could continue building my base. Heading down to satellite dish, things didn't initially go as planned. Oh, there's SARS at SATS. Why? going down it's actually going down I think he has MP oh whoa <laughs> play that's got destroyed a guy coming in here and he might have something. I don't. I think I just need to leave. 300 scraps good. 300 scraps good. Let's go. Yes. Oh my gosh. There's one. There's two. Nice. Now let's do the roof. We can have this as a little vending machine. Vending machine slot. That's pretty good. If I could get the placement. <laughs> okay. There we go. The roof is done. I feel like adding half walls is not a bad idea here, maybe? Just so you get a little bit of cover when you're coming up. You don't get shot in the back or something. Yeah, I'll add a vendor machine and a garage door. Yeah, for sure I'll do that right now. Put our solar panels up there later. This is coming along so nice. We'll do 150 scrap. Yeah, that'll be fine. Why not? Broadcast position. Let's name it. Walk 
slash drone. Oh yeah, they added the little smileys. Let's do that one. <laughs> what we should do actually is just so we have the battery powered and ready to go when we need it, we'll hook up the solar panel already. Perfect. But my brain is well and truly fried. I've played for so many hours today. Hello. Oh my god, that made me jump. <laughs> Hello. That made me jump. Yo, are you trying to be... Are you trying to be friendly? Yeah, man. For sure. Don't you worry about it. I am friendly. Okay. Oh, anyway. I'm getting off. <laughs> I then logged off for the night after a very successful day one on the server. I had big plans tomorrow, like making a compound and doing a few raids, so I prayed my base would survive the night. Was there ever any doubt? Let's go. And I had survived. The first thing on my agenda was to run the airfield puzzle. Oh no, my friends got raided. But I say friends, I literally talked to them and then logged off, but oh. Sure, I guess. One military crate, two military crates. Damn, it kind of sucked. Jeez. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, let's get out of here. Quick. There's a camper van on the other side. <laughs> Go. Oh no, I think he sees me. Definitely sees me. Definitely sees me. Uh oh. Okay. Leave. Go, go, go. The base looks so unbelievably nice, man. It looks incredible. I love this skin. I can't I can't get enough of it. It looks crazy. It's a crazy, crazy good run. Time to hit some nodes. Get some sulfur. Cook that sulfur and do a raid. And with our scrap, I want to research this and this. Make ourselves a little compound. So we have 200 scrap left. Could get a root combiner, but I don't really have anything like to use electrically. Do you know what I mean? So I don't think there's much point in that. Maybe if I get a large furnace, or oh, almost I can. That would definitely be helpful when smelting. Yeah, for now, I think I'll just save it. Oh. That's a problem. I can't because of the f how the foundations are placed. Can't put a square there apparently. No way. Okay, so my plan this is just add an external to this.
It's a bit scuffed, but it does the job, and that's all that matters. Okay, so that's sorted. Let's get the gate on the other side. That'll do. I think people can probably... S eh, nah, they can't. Okay, so the compound's fully sealed, but I do want to airlock this. I should probably honeycomb that as well. I'll worry about that later. But now, I think I will call in my airdrop. So I've had it for ages, and now with a compound it's much safer right and we do the little supply signal trick stick it to the garage door and open it and it doesn't produce any smoke which is awesome my god of course it's gonna land outside the compound why would it not classic rust oh my god AK what Oh my god! MP5 Anna Thompson. What in the and scrap for for a uh, large furnace? Oh my god, that was insane. No way. I'm playing Blue Lagoon right now, and all of you say it's not official. Blah blah blah. But, I mean, it is vanilla, but I never run into cheaters on this server, so I just stick to it. That's probably why I got an AK because maybe it's a little bit modded in that sense. I don't think you can get an AK in official. Oh my gosh, that's actually crazy. I guess I could just add this garage door somewhere. May as well. Maybe I'll just... Yeah, just put it here. Okay, I placed a large furnace here. Got it going with what I have. Not too much. I'm quickly going to go hit a couple of stone nodes. Maybe a little bit more sulfur. And then hopefully we'll have enough sulfur for a fast raid. With the large furnace now placed, I could produce sulfur and metal at a really fast rate, meaning I could do a few raids, which is exactly what I intended. So how's Matt? Where did he go? Oh, he's over there, look. He has a Tommy, maybe? So many. God. I'm pretty sure that was it. I don't know where that guy's gun went. Oh my gosh, dude. That was a whiff. Okay, he just 
He just is AFK. What the hell was that about? Oh, there's three of them. What? Wait, what? Wait, what? What have I just... What have I just stumbled across? Am I gonna... Yep, I'm about to die for sure. What have I just... Okay, I just leave with this if I can. I lost the MP5, which sucks, but because the MP5 is actually really good. But I mean, I gained a SAR and a Tommy, so yeah. For free. That was weird. Please make all my sulfur into GP. See how much I have. See how many satchels I can make. 3,600 GP. Okay. I think I know which base I want to raid. So yeah, I'm going to be <laughs> AK bucket helmet guy. That's so tragic. That is so tragic. Uh, helmet, 275. I don't even have enough. I don't even have any road signs anyway. What about jacket? The first base I want to raid is that one there. It's been there since the beginning of wipe. Since when I started building this. And it hasn't been decaying. At least I don't think it has. I'll check now. But if it's not been decaying, that's the first raid I want to do for sure. Yeah, it's not decaying at all. That makes me think that there's definitely something inside. But before I do that, I keep forgetting. I want to honeycomb the back. Because <laughs> I haven't done it yet. There we go. Much better. Much better. My god, look at the bean cans. Yo! <laughs> 14 satchels. That's not half bad, you know. I definitely do some damage with 14 satchels. I'm going to take four, first of all, to the first raid. I don't want to bring them all and end up dying, you know. So I'm going to bring four. It's just what, it's not going to be, but hopefully it's one door and unlock TC. <laughs> it's not going to be at all, but we can hope, right? Dude, imagine I got those 12 satchels right at the start of the wipe. That would have been sick. I would have used them up by now, I think, but it still would have been sick. Here goes nothing, baby. Oh, it might break the twig. Should be okay. Thank you. <laughs> I had to kill him, bro. I'm sorry. I had to kill him. I recognize the name. I think I fought him earlier. He's a free man in satellite dish. Hey. That was insane luck, though, by the way. It actually was one door. <laughs> EC's not even bad. Like, okay. 600 scrap? Yeah. That's actually quite good. Damn. I mean, it wasn't great. But it wasn't bad. Could have been worse. Definitely could have been worse. Four satchels for 600 scrap. I will happily take any day of the week. It's pretty good. Okay, well. I'm going to F1. I'm going to spawn outside. Yeah, there's someone on the hill. Asthma. Two hazmats. Yeah, dude, they were together. Oh, my three. I knew it. Okay, there we go. Much more secure. This first raid was a huge success, and with spare satchels, I really wanted to do some more. So I headed out to scout for more bases. I could do an another two by one, maybe, or two by two. Let's go hunt around while it's night time, I guess. You know what? It's the same situation with this base here. It's been here since I like moved in. And I don't think it's decayed. Is it code locked? It is as well. There's no wall frame either. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Eight satchels, nine, including TC. I now knew which base I wanted to raid. So I went until the morning and as soon as the sun started to rise, I went over. Let's do it.
Oh, it's a wood. It's a wood double door, man. No, I need Molotov. I don't want to use satchel for a door. I really didn't want to use a satchel to get through this wooden double door, so I grabbed some of the components I had lying around and went to Satellite Dish to recycle them, hopefully giving me enough scrap to tech tree to Molotov. Awesome. This is going to be interesting. The hell? Low grade on the roof. Ooh. Why is there low grade? Oh my god. Yo. What? <laughs> oh my. Yo. Dude, look at that tool cupboard. What? That's crazy. That's crazy. Wow. Or low grade. What? <laughs> so random. Okay, well, that was definitely unexpected. Decorate our garden. With seven satchels still remaining, I definitely wasn't going to leave them in my base. So as soon as I transferred over the raid loot, I headed over to the direction of missile silo to hopefully raid some undercover juicers. 2x2 two two here. If this is a 2x1. Ooh. This could be worth the raid. Molotov raid. Okay, another wood door. Whoa. Oh. Oh, profit. Wait, that's not bad. I mean, it was terrible, but we profited. Um, you know what? Could have been worse. Could have been worse. But yeah, I'm going to raid that one next. I think. It's a classic, classic raid spree. Haven't done one of these in a while. A little raid spree. Wait. What? Slowly creep away. Let's get this show on the road. Oh, Molotov. In case I hit a TC. Oh my god, elite satchels. Uh, <laughs> Never mind. I'm a door. Wow, that is so depressing. They're going to be loaded. Dude, I should have just gone for a ceiling tile. Oh my god, I'm so depressed. I'm just going to go through this. Why not, dude? Why not? They're not raided because they just decayed. I'm just hoping that they didn't despawn. Oh my god, come on. Don't do me like this. Thank you. Okay, well, moment of truth, I guess. 23 buck shots. E2. Uh, I mean, I was right. They didn't despawn. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> uh. That's so disappointing. That is so disappointing. I now know why they rage quit, I guess. Hodgepodge, Pixaro. Pack rat, I don't really recognise them names. Maybe I've encountered them before, but interesting. Yeah, I mean it was okay. I guess. Okay, standard procedure. Just gonna F1 real quick. Check the base from the outside.
And we made it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I have loads of scrap now. I have enough for a tier 3. But. I don't really need one. If I'm going to be completely honest. I have no. No real use for a tier 3. Damn we're actually kind of loaded. I don't even have enough high quality for a tier 3 actually. So to be honest. I am just going to tech tree. I think that's smart. Smart decision. And with that wood actually. I'm going to make two high walls. And to finish off this wipe. I think I'm going to roam. Roam with the AK. Can we get hollow? Oh, we actually can get hollow. And you know what? I'm just going to do it. 600 scrap. Yeah. Anything on the tier 1 tech tree? E branch. I guess we can get all of the industrial stuff. Bed, I guess. Is that annoying? I think that's fine. Yeah, it's fine. What the? That is not cool. I believe they live in that big base. So I could just sit here. Dude, this is where suppressors OP. I, I could kill them, I think. Now they're just going to spawn behind and roof camp me. I, I don't win. I have to get down. Yeah, I never win that. If I suppress her, I, I, I think I win that. Oh well. With no sulfur to my name and no more AK, this is where I logged off for the wipe. After an incredible couple of days on the server, I think this has potential to be one of my favourite wipes so far, and I really hope you guys enjoyed it too. A massive shout out to our channel members, you guys mean a lot to me, so thank you. And with that being said, I'll see you next week for another Solo Rust adventure.